This whole incident is absolutely shameful and shocking. And I don't think it's a question just of this or that spokesperson of the BJP. This whole framework of hate speech and now even attacking uh, Prophet Muhammad is really reflective of the attitude of the BJP top leaders. They are the patrons of hate speech in this country. And the lady herself, who is in the middle of the controversy, Nupur Sharma, has made a clear statement that the first call she got in support of what she said, or in defense of what she said, was from the Home Minister's office, Mr. Amit Shah's office, from Mr. J.P. Nadda's office, the BJP President's office. She's even mentioned the PMO. She has mentioned the former Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Mr. Fadnavis. So therefore, it is not just this or that person who my ambassador in uh, one of the uh, Arab countries has said is a fringe element. Who are you fooling? This is not the fringe element speaking. These are people who are patronized by the top leadership of the BJP. Why is this person not yet arrested? Why is the Delhi spokesperson who's been expelled from the party, why has he not been arrested? This is a criminal act under the law in which today there are so many people who when they criticize Modi ji are held for sedition. And here the entire world is condemning India. And these people, no action, no criminal action is taken against them. So the double standards of the Modi government, the double standards of BJP leaders have shamed every single Indian citizen. And today, because there's pressure from external forces, from countries we have diplomatic relations with, who've expressed their outrage against such a statement. That's why the government acted four days after it. So this is really something which is of deep concern to each and every one of us. And the only way I can see any kind of resolution for this is to fight against the BJP, to condemn them, to resist this kind of politics, and thereby to save India.